Ukraine says, hi to all civilized world and thanks for your support. We appreciate it so much. Please subscribe to our channel, click on the bell to not miss new videos on our channel and stay up to date with the latest events. Thanks buddies, let's go. So what we have today? I'm just thinking, you know, do I ask you the toughest question I can to beat you right away or do you just take it a little bit at a time? The thing is, you're not going to beat me. Oh yeah. Absolutely. Seriously? Here, seriously. You didn't believe it? You didn't, did you? Shit. Then you'll switch and interrupt and call me names. No way, no way. We're just from Donetsk. We're so Luhansk Donetsk guys. Let's start with the fact that you're not from Donetsk, but from Moscow. Why from Moscow? Are you kidding me? What street are you on in Donetsk City? What street? Donetsk City Mall, what street? Do you think I'm going to tell you to shoot at us again? Well, so, well, you see, you lied just from the first words. I already know where Donetsk City Mall is. How to talk to you. You are a liar. One, zero. Listen, you fucking Ukrainians are all from the Center for Information and Psychological Special Operations. Always sniffing around. Oh, you're a fucking liar. All right, all right. You promised. Two, zero. All right, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Come on. How did it happen that the border of Belgorod region was broken? Well, you know what situation happened there? Anyway, 70 of Ukraine's most elite units got together, found a small breach in our defense. Came into the grannies, where there were four grannies and seven, in short, old ladies. Seven grandmothers, seven old ladies in there. I don't know, there's two or three kids back and forth. How could it not be? Who did you go to, at least? The original Ukrainian territory? The city was part of the Ukrainian People's Republic. Oh, I see, you were hanging flags there. See? Well, these are tactical maps. Just one gap. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I get it. Ten billion spent on the defense region, by the way. Well, I can tell you it was before Belgorodovka there stood the trenches. Look. The Russian Legion of Freedom stands for the liberation of Russia from Putin's regime. Voice over. Ah, look, he's for Navalny. Why what, if you'll excuse me, has Putin done wrong for Russia? Putin has been lying his whole career. To whom? To you. To the Russian people. Okay, come on. What has he lied to us so much? Well, if he lies all the time, let's give him a big, big one. Come on. Look, 2001, Putin's voice. I can't imagine my country apart, as we often say, from the civilized world. And I can hardly imagine NATO as an enemy. 2002. The point is, that we don't treat NATO as a hostile organization, of course not. 2003, under the Soviet Union, the Russian Federation lost tens of thousands of its ancestral territories. And what do you propose to start dividing everything again? Give us back the Crimea, some of the other territories of other countries. 2008, Crimea is not a disputed territory, there was no ethnic conflict there. Unlike the conflict between South Ossetia and Georgia, and Russia has long recognized the borders of today's Ukraine. We have completed our negotiations on the border in general. It is about the demarcation of all these technical issues. I think questions about any such goals for Russia give off some kind of provocative meaning. Is that a methodology book or something? No, it's a video clip of what he said. No, 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 no. Look, could this be? Look, can you turn that off? No, no, no. Well, wait, look, if I... Is the score already three? Zero? No. Dry. In 2008, he states that Crimea is not disputed territory. What? Disputed territory? You don't have to bark in my ear. Here, listen. What does Putin have to do with believing? Well, you say, what has he done wrong? I'm answering your question. He said he wouldn't raise the retirement age, and it turned out to be a lie. Look, tell me, please. There won't be a draft. Also a lie. Tell me, please. You had, before Maiden, before the coup plot, that you had on an independent, you were running around with pots and pans. You got all the fucking dough and everything else. Here. You overthrew... Well, like, uh, illegally, uh, illegally, uh, legitimate uh, president Yanukovych. Now that's an interesting point. It's going to be four, zero. Go ahead, open it up, the 69th Constitution of Ukraine. Look, hold on, I didn't finish. Why not open it? 
Послушай, подожди, я открывай, не договорил. Зачем мне открывать? Why not open it? Illegal. Open the 112th in parallel. Oh, well, you already did that when you rewrote it. We did not have a constitutional reform. Wait, wait, stop. At the time you staged the Maiden in 2014, you had a legitimate president, Yanukovych, who, with the help of the Berkut, with the help of the men who guarded the statehood of Ukraine, don't shout, I can hear you. Well, I, I have such a voice, I am a military man. You have such a voice when you're on fire. Do you understand? I don't get burnt, I'm just telling you. When you're on fire, oh, good for you, see? I'm telling you, you're all gay in there. You interrupt me, you call me names. No way, no way. Four, zero, you swear. I don't give a shit about your score. We're not having this conversation, come on, come on. What, you didn't take it? So you lost four, zero. You swear, you yell, you don't answer questions. That's it. I turned off your sound. We're not going to have this conversation anymore. Here, I'll even show you. You're on mute now. Look at this. You can keep trying. Shout whatever you want. Putin's voice. The borders of today's Ukraine. We're essentially done with the whole, and in general, our negotiations on the border. We're talking about demarcation, but this is a technical matter. Questions of some kind, for Russia's purposes, I think. You can support our channel if you want. In a description below, you can find a PayPal, Visa, and MasterCard requisites. Thank you for watching.